One, two, a one, two. Ah, oh, shit, I got the wrong clipboard. I don't have a sticker. Eh, whatever. We're going to be breaking down the numbers, doing a detailed analysis on two duplexes. Ed from Perry, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And, folks, Holton Wise TV... If you're a new viewer, okay, what we do here, we provide you guys with education and transparency into the real estate investment space. We want to create an audience of educated real estate investors who understand what's going on with real estate. We're going to show you how to make some money, and we're going to show you how you could lose some money and hopefully give you some tips on avoiding losing that money. But what else we do, and this is probably the most important thing. Everybody else, there's like all kinds of other people that do just that, right? Teach you how to make money in real estate. Teach you things that could lose you money in real estate. We're not the only people who do that, right? So that's that's nothing special. But what we do that is special, we combine that education. We combine that transparency. We combine those tips with real actionable deals. We are real real estate investors, real real estate brokers. I am a licensed real estate broker. We also own insurance companies, title companies, we have full service property management renovation services. So where everybody else, they stop, right? They teach you this stuff, give you the rah-rah, you're all excited about investing in real estate, and then that's it. You're left on your own after you buy their course or their training program, and that's it. You're just, you're, they're done with you, right? They've collected their paycheck, and now it's up to you to go out in the real world and put that stuff to use. We help you with that. We do all that for you, right? And I'm working with my client, Ed. This show on Holden Wise TV, this is the most interactive show we have. This is literally me, my team, working with you one-on-one. -on -one. This show is all about my man, Ed. Ed is a local cat. He lives in Perry, Ohio, outside of Cleveland, right? So he's not an out-of-state investor. A lot of our investors are from all around the world. We get a lot of folks from California, a lot of folks from the East Coast. We even get folks as far away as Singapore. But Ed, my man, he's home here in Ohio he understands that C-class investing makes a lot of money. He's seen a lot of the inventory we have. And, Ed, you want to get uh, 10 properties. You probably heard me talking a lot about uh, residential financing and how it's the best type of financing, right? 30-year financing, fixed interest, low interest, tax deductible. Anybody out there, if you want loans like this, we got them. Sales at HoltonWise.com. We'll get you our list of lenders. Doesn't matter if you live in Ohio like Ed. You could live in California, we get you the loan. You could live in New York, we get you the loan. If you live in Singapore, we got lenders for you too, but it's not going to be as cake, as low interest. You know, we're not, probably not going to see those 30-year terms to, to folks living outside the U.S., but we do have financing for those folks. So anybody that needs that financing, salesaholewise.com, we'll get you that list totally free. But Ed, you want to get 10 properties, Okay. You want to spend approximately eighty to a hundred thousand. You're looking for C-class duplexes, and you don't want to deal with a big ass reno, right? You're you're hoping to just get into something kind of easy. Totally, totally think that's a, a great strategy, bro. Big old rehabs. They lower your ca uh, cash on cash return. It takes a long time to get uh, tenants in there. Uh, yes, if you can work that into a bird deal, you could possibly increase your cash on cash return eventually. But this is a just a great strategy for a guy who's got a day job. Just go ahead and invest your funds in the bank's going to quadruple it for you, right? If you buy a $100,000 property, you don't need to spend $100,000. You only got to spend $25,000. Bank going to give you the other $75,000. So this property I got for you, dude, I think this will work. 3304 Altoona Road, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109, just listed. Zero days on the market. They just put this thing on the market. I saw it, and I was like, dude, Ed, this is all you. Now, this is common, Okay. We get this a lot with occupied properties. That's it. Just one picture. One picture for us to go off of. Now, it's obviously a little worse for wear, right? You can see these steps. They got mold on them, and they're, they're crooked. So don't think it's like this beautifully renovated property. It's, it's, it's a little rough. As far as the price goes, they've listed it at 85900 and I think that's honestly a little bit overpriced. A, it's a little rough for wear, and B, we got two tenants in there. They're both paying 550. Now, 
a lot of these C-class duplexes, you're right on the money at 80 to 100K. The market rent for a property like this, 750 a month, right? So we're going to go through the numbers based upon what these tenants are currently paying, 550. But you need to understand as we're analyzing this property and you see some things like the ugly steps and the crooked steps, you got to understand, brother, 750 a month is is what this is going to do for you long term 1500 a month but for right now brings in 1100 a month or 13200 a year of that 1100 that's scheduled to come in i anticipate you spending 673 to have us operate this property right every month we're going to save for repairs and maintenance vacancy and non-payment and capex okay the comments that they've left here the the listing agents comments which by the way listed by a howard Hanna agent investment property immediate cash flow 100 percent occupancy <laughs> being sold as is being sold as is is code for yo this motherfucker is fucked up now i don't think it's like extremely fucked up it just looks like an old tired rental property to me now, of course, we're going to need to make our offer contingent on a third-party home inspection. And when that third-party home inspector gets in there, what we're looking for is huge variables we didn't anticipate, right? So we're looking for, like, structural issues. As far as minor tic-tac things, uh, like cosmetically looking ugly, that's no worries, right? Whenever these two tenants move out, I've seen that one picture of the front of the house. Trust me, dude. <laughs> Whenever the tenants move out of this, you're doing a turnover renovation, okay? You're not just fucking painting it and moving somebody else in or vacuuming it, moving somebody else in. You're probably going to spend like four, five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 to get it looking good, but then we're going to bring in them $750 a month tenants, though, right? So that's why... We're saving 55 a month for repairs and maintenance. We're saving 55 a month for vacancy. We're saving 55 a month for our capital expenditures because we haven't even talked about the roof, the furnace, the hot water tank. Guy, old tired rental, selling as is. You ain't got two new furnaces in there, bro. I guarantee your inspector's going to tell you they're old past their useful life. Two furnaces, 3K each. You don't replace them now. The property is probably in good enough condition to get a loan. So you buy it, collect the rent, and that's it. You're just going to continue to collect that rent till a tenant moves out. As far as those furnaces go, you're going to continue to let those old furnaces work until they go down one day. And then when they go down, you don't spend 400 bucks on a, a service call. That'd be a waste of money. It's probably going to be an old furnace. You just replace it, bro. So that's going to be three Gs. That's what you're saving up for in your CapEx. Your roof, I, I see no scenario why the inspector that inspects this property is going to tell you it's a brand new roof. It's an old beat-up property, dude. Roofs last 30 years. Roof like this is probably like a $7,000 roof. These are things, you know, we're thinking about in our budget because, you know, you replace the roof now in 2020. Come 2050, you got to do it again, right? So that's why you're saving. Hot water tanks, they last 15 years. Again, I don't... I. Could almost guarantee they're not going to be new. I bet they're going to be older, bro. Uh, that's a thousand bucks each, right? And then we got our taxes, insurance, property management, yada yada. So after everything, on a long-term basis, I anticipate you making four twenty-seven. As far as what I think you should pay for it, if this thing was in great shape, we were getting market rent. This is a hundred thousand dollar duplex all day. What I think it's worth right now, what I'd love to see you pick it up for, given the fact that the rents are below market, given the fact that I bet the roof's old, given the fact I bet the furnaces are old, given the fact that I bet the hot water tanks are old, I want to see you pick this son of a bitch up for $75,000. I would love to see that. Now, there's a lot of competition for C-class duplexes, dude. They're cash cows. They're money makers. So maybe seventy-five thousand doesn't cut the mustard. We may need to go up a little bit. I'd say probably eighty is as much as I would possibly pay for this property. Just hit the market, so we're gonna move quick. I can almost guarantee they're gonna have multiple offers, man. These things, again, remember, dude. You got fifteen hundred dollars a month is the end game here. So these things are, you know, they're makers. If you want, you could rerun the calculations I did based upon fifteen hundred dollars a month coming in. You'll see that your cash flowing quite well. And even with just the current eleven hundred dollars coming in, your cash flowing well. If we pick it up at seventy five, it's a six eight cap, and with the loan. You're looking at a 12.2% cash on cash return, and that's with the property bringing in $400 less than it could be. So, for those reasons, I picked this property. I think it's going to work perfect for your plan. Uh, we'd want to make that offer with your loan. We'll show them the proof, uh, you know, pre-approval letter, and we'll make it contingent on third-party home inspection. And when that inspector goes in there again, the if we pick it up at like 75. 
I'm not going to be upset or worried when we get an old furnace, old hot water tanks, old roof. That's a given, dude. That's baked into the cake. What we're really looking for is that inspector to tell us the foundation is good or the foundation's bad. If it comes out that the foundation is like there's foundation issues here, dude, that's a deal breaker. You know, we'd want to move on from this property. We don't want to mess with that. That's mainly what we're looking for there. That's how we're going to do that due diligence. But other than that, I'm anticipating the units. They're going to be sloppy. They're going to be crummy, right? I, I don't anticipate them being beautiful. So know that when those tenants eventually move out, dude, we're looking at turnovers. But, hey, the cool thing is it makes money now. So I say we just acquire it. Don't worry about it. Collect the money. Save the money for those upcoming rehabs. And then when the tenants, you know, if they're good tenants, when their leases come up, you know, in a year, like keep everything. We like to keep everything the same for a year so they don't prematurely move out. When their leases come up in a year, man, no reason – them paying 550 when market's 750, we can't increase their rents. I don't want to go right to 750 because I think that'll probably make most people move out if you jack it up that high. But, dude, take a 550 tenant, take them up to six one year, then take them up to six and a quarter, then 650. You get what I'm saying? You catch my drift? You might be able to eventually get them up to 750 without doing a turnover renovation. That'd, gr that'd be great. That's optimistic, but that would be great. All right, so that is this property. Ed, but cool news is, man, I got another one for you. So quickly... Uh, let's go to a word from the sponsors to today's show, then I'll run the numbers on that one for you. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Welcome back, Ed. Now, the next one I have, I like this one even better. 11301 Florian, Cleveland 44111. That's another C-class neighborhood, right? Both of these properties are just pure C-class neighborhoods. 44109, 44111, those are the two neighborhoods in the whole Cleveland market. Holton Wise has the most properties, like, you know, per capita or whatever you want to say. Like, we are, our portfolio is incredibly dense in these neighborhoods, man. I mean, we are pretty much, like... The dude, like you drive down a street, you'll see our signs literally on half the freaking houses, man. We have all all these properties, right? So these are good, good cash cows. This one's been on the market nine days. I'm actually surprised it's still available. Eighty nine nine, okay. And we got more information on this one, which is cool. This one you're gonna have to be more aggressive on your pricing. We ain't gonna try to lowball them. We ain't gonna try to pick it up for cheaper. I mean, it's a nice property, dude. Like, you know, you got the nice woodwork. You know, when I do a turnover, I like to see these walls go gray, the woodwork go white. But, I mean, that is some nice woodwork. You got the carpet in there. What we'd want to do is when this tenant eventually moves out, we'd probably pull the carpet to expose the hardwoods so your subsequent turnovers were uh, cheaper. Like this bathroom, this is looking pretty nice, man. You got the nice uh, recently reglazed tub, one-piece surround. That's looking good. You got modern vanity i hate to see those old like 1995 vanities in these units so you know all told this is looking pretty good okay this kitchen obviously a little dated so we'd want to you know make uh, some uh, improvements there and then this third floor they actually already finished the third floor so your uh upstairs unit is 
got a whole extra living space, so that's going to help on the rent. Here is another unit's bathroom, right? Dude, this is, a, this is just a great modern updated bathroom. So when we did the main turnover, all we're probably doing is like repainting. I don't really see us having to do much work in this bathroom. This is looking good, man. This is nice. That's what we want to see. Kitchen needs some love, though, dude. We're going we're gonna to want to upgrade that kitchen, put some premium upgrades in there. Here's your two furnaces. I, I would guesstimate they're probably at least 15 years old, uh, if not more. There's a hot water tank. There should be another one in here somewhere. I don't think we have a picture of it. But, you know, I'm guessing you're somewhere mid to end of life here, somewhere mid to end of life there. Again, when you're buying these properties, very rare you're going to find one with, like, all new, uh, you know, uh, mechanicals in there. It's just not practical, right? Two updated electrical panels, though. That's great. So, as far as the current rents on this sucker, dude... That upstairs unit, since they finished off the third floor, that's a 3-1 being rented for six fifty. We will be able to rent that going forward in the future at eight hundred. The down two one, that's a seven hundred fifty dollar unit. So we're bringing in twelve fifty today, but for the long haul, what we should be bringing in is fifteen fifty. But of the current twelve fifty that comes in, I anticipate on average it costing seven sixty to operate this thing, leaving us with an NOI of four ninety. One of the charges uh, you see here on the monthly charges, by the way, is insurance. Uh, said it before, but I own a farmer's business. We are appointed with farmers and other insurance providers, and we help. Uh, rental property investors coast to coast insure their rental properties guys that's all we do so even if you guys got properties in ohio or other states click the show notes below and my team can give you a quote we'll probably be able to lower your premium because i know a lot of the insurance providers you guys are working with they're probably like the same dude that does like your house or your boat or things of that nature uh, we're specialized in the rentals just like we do with the sales here so all we do is uh, rental insurance, and we, we're not going to write the policy through farmers. Uh, we have a farmer's office, and then we also have uh, appointments through a bunch of small independent offices, some of which are even owned by farmers group of insurance providers. These are like business-to-business -business niche type uh, insurance providers, so like people you've never heard of, so like USLI, Foremost, right? These are not companies, these are not like Geico or like uh, you know, farmers, obviously. And what's the other one? Like progressive, right? These are not companies that are on TV all the time. These are little niche guys. So uh, they got some really ro low rates. So if you guys want to save some money, show notes below, right? Uh, but back to the chart, right? 760 is what I think is coming out of that 1250 on average, leaving you with almost 500 a month. As far as price goes, dude, I'm surprised it's still available. We got to go full price on this, I bet, dude. I don't think you're getting it for less than 89.9. At the very least, we want to go 89.9, get it under contract, and maybe we could try to weasel them down a little bit after the inspection if uh, the inspector cites some issues that they technically haven't disclosed to us. Like, I don't have any information telling me the roof is crummy, but I bet it's not new. So maybe we get in at 89.9, maybe we can extract a thousand or two if, like, the roof is older. If He's telling us, you know, we need to replace a flue pipe on a hot water tank, something like that. But you shouldn't feel bad about picking it up at full price, eighty nine nine, especially because that second floor's got that third bedroom, dude. That's fifteen fifty in rent coming in eventually, right? So if you pick it up at eighty nine nine, that's a six and a half cap. Brings a cash on cash return currently today of 11%. I comprehend that that is slightly lower than the previous property, but I like this property better for the long haul because this property, we know for a fact it's in good shape. I think this property is going to take a lot less money to get to our market rents than our previous property, than the Altoona property. I like both of them. So if you're asking me which one I should buy, my answer is I think you should try to buy both of them. But if you could only buy one, I would I would go with the Florian property, definitely. And I definitely think the Florian property is worth more money today. So, Ed, you let me know what you want to do, brother. Just reply to the private link. Uh, if you want us to write offers, we will. If you don't, give me your feedback on where I went wrong, where I kind of veered off of what you're looking for. And on your next video, I will make the necessary adjustments and we'll find you something meeting uh, your more defined criteria. 
Everybody else, if you're interested in working with me and my team like this, if you're an investor either locally or out of state and you want to get into rental properties that have these types of numbers, go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, order an MLS search and analysis package today. That's it, folks. I'm about to get out of here. Before I do, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.